if they have an abnormal baby and they want, they wish to have an abortion, I will give them a medical abortion. A woman has half a million genetically unique eggs when she's still in her mother's uterus. All of us that do abortions have an upper limit to when we do them. I would be very uncomfortable doing abortion after the first 12 weeks. Would you acknowledge that at least genetically your blueprint, who you are as different from Matt and myself, would you acknowledge that that began at fertilization and that you once were an embryo? Of course, and it's wonderful. You weren't a sperm, I guess is my point. Um, you weren't an egg, but you were an embryo, and you're acknowledging yes. that. I'm yes, hearing. Yeah. So, Malcolm, if we could get to this this magical 12-week line, this is what um, I find a little perplexing. I mean, would you acknowledge, for example, the 12-week fetus that you would still abort, or at least 11-week, um, has brainwave activity and has a heartbeat? Would you acknowledge that? Yeah, yes, yes. And would you acknowledge that also the the start of the fertility, for example, the ovaries of the female uh, a fetus um, are already in place then, the start of them? Yes, yeah. Okay, and well, let me ask you this. What if someone at 11 weeks found out they were pregnant with a female fetus and they wanted a male fetus, and so they came to you and said, Malcolm, please do this abortion because I don't want a girl. Because it's at 11 weeks, would you do it? I wouldn't do it at any time. I have been confronted by that, particularly by Indian women in a culture which is very um, paternalistic and the women are suffered and criticized if they have another baby. Why wouldn't you do an abortion for reasons of sex selection? Um, it's a good question. Um, I mean, I'm emotionally not sort of comfortable with that. Um, I mean, I've never met a woman in an abortion because I want to go on a Mediterranean cruise. But if she did, I probably would try to create a framework in which she could see that was really a rather stupid and selfish thing uh, to, to, to do. So I think a lot of people would have the same common um, response to that. Um, whether you would act on it, um, I don't have an overarching ethic for that. It just, I just feel uncomfortable and wouldn't uh, do it. I guess my question is, if you're uncomfortable for killing a child because the child is female, why are you comfortable killing a child because the child has Down syndrome? Because it's, it's, it refers to the cell's behavior in, in, in that case. So I am looking at the, ch the framework in which, that, in which that child, that embryo, that fetus is developing. I admit that semantically preborn child um, is accurate, but most people don't use it. One of the things about language is we tend to use the words that other people use and they understand. So um, you tend to, to, to take um, words like preborn child, which most of society doesn't use, in order to make the discussion as emotional as possible. Now, I agree that this is a difficult topic and I can be emotional about it, but I think it's better to use uh, technical terms. I, I think it's reasonable. Stephanie was saying the pre-born child is human. I think an embryo is human. I mean, that's a perfectly reasonable use of, of words. I think if I do an abortion, the remains um, an incinerator, a human, I don't find any difficulty with that. I mean, it's not something that you need to sort of describe all the time. Um, but I'm not saying they're a cat or something like that. 